Hello, my name is Franklin, and I have found myself uh, on this strange and, I have to say, rather beautiful planet, uh, alone. I am, uh, I am alone in the world at the moment, and I would like to ask you a question as we begin here, while I shoot this uh, plutonium, because the acquisition of plutonium seems to be important for me being able to keep my heat shield going, which seems to be important for me being able to survive. The question is, what constitutes, like, a successful or well-lived life? What is it? I just discovered uh, that plant, by the way, that no one had ever discovered in the history of the universe, and then I responded to the discovery by immediately killing it. Um, what, what constitutes a good or useful or well-lived life? I'll ask you why I'm... Oh, wait, no, I, I have to hit this button because that is very useful to me because, as it happens, that is the precise item that I need in order to charge my new spaceship that I've just finished repairing. This is very exciting news. So I would like to go ahead and transfer that, and then I'm going to go back to my starship. And now I am going to charge up my starship. That's not right. It's over here. Yeah, I'm going to charge it up. Let's see. The reason I'm asking you this question, now I can actually take off of my starship. Wow. I mean, look at that huge bunch of gold. And this, this gold actually is a wonderful metaphor for the question I have for you, which is that, like, is the point of life to use as many resources as possible, to acquire as many resources as possible, to do as many things as possible. Because then, if it is, what I need to do uh, is I need to go toward the center of, of the universe. I need to try to figure out, you know, what what it is... I, I need to try to figure out what's in the center of this galaxy. But I'm not sure that that is the point of life, you know? I, I think the point of life... Uh, here's a cargo drop. I think, I, well, I'm, again, I'm, I feel very unsettled about this. Uh, is it possible that I'm currently on the best possible planet? Like, isn't that possible? You know, that I'm already there and that I, I'm going to go off into the world and only find that life gets worse. Uh, I think that's very possible. And so I don't have one of those Atlas passes yet. Uh, so I don't think I can get in any of this. Maybe I can get in there? Oh, yeah. There we go. Nothing found. That's disappointing. Um, I mean, I look up into this sky, and, and it's it's rather beautiful, you know? And there's some way that I can I can show you what the, what the weather looks like here. Um, my life support systems aren't ideal. I don't really remember how to show you what the weather looks like. The weather's not great. Uh, it, it, it goes between, like, 30 degrees Celsius and 80 degrees Celsius, which is between, like, hot... And extremely hot. Then I've got another big complaint. Uh, I guess. I mean. I mean. I don't like to be a complainer, but I do. I do have another significant complaint. I'm going to walk towards my ship. By the way, my central complaint about this planet is that while it is exceptionally beautiful, especially at nighttime, uh, it is not watery. You know, like there's there's no there doesn't seem to be any liquid water on this planet. Now somehow so far I've been able to survive just fine. Um I don't really know how. Maybe my my exosuit somehow makes water. It's that that part's not really clear to me. But I, I'm not thrilled by the lack of liquid water and then I also I feel like my exosuit might be a little more comfortable if it weren't uh, you know, a temperature outside at which water boils, which might be why there's no liquid water on the planet. Um, and, and so my big, I guess, consideration is, should I be content on this planet? Should I be happy to try to make the best life for myself that I can make here on, I can't remember the name of this planet, but it's something ridiculous and I haven't been able to rename it. Um, it's not Razamama S36, that's the name of my ridiculous plane, but uh, it's something like Razamama 36. We'll call it Razamama 35. Should I try to make the best possible life here on Razamama 35, or should I try to like break out into the world, uh, into the, uh, find other planets, explore the galaxy? But really, isn't exploring the galaxy kind of selfish in a way? Because all I'm doing ultimately 
uh, is using resources, right? I have to kill animals to eat. I have to uh, blow up these uh, blow up these little plants to uh, you know to get to get goods and uh, that I then can craft into stuff. Like, oh, my inventory's full. Um, I, I just I don't know if I'm gonna be wasting. Ultimately, am I wasting those resources? Am I just doing nothing but... Oh, suddenly the game has disappeared. And it's back. And it's gone again. And it's back. Am I doing nothing but... Um, just utilizing resources so that I can keep going? Or is there a reason to keep going? Is there a reason to explore? I feel very discomforted by this whole thing. Part of me says maybe you should just come to know and love the planet onto which you spawned. And then part of me says, well, maybe there are others out there in the universe for me to know, for me to meet. Oh, it's dawn. It's beautiful. I do love my planet. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what constitutes a well-lived life in this situation. And in general, I would like to ask you very seriously, what constitutes a successful life? Not just on No Man's Sky, but wherever, whatever planet you might find yourself on. Because I feel increasingly like maybe I've just been continuing to continue. Like some of you have probably heard me tell this joke before, but it's the only joke I know. Meredith, have you heard me tell the joke? It's the, uh, it's the joke about uh, the Russian moth. All right, I told it on this channel before. It's my favorite joke. It's also the only joke that I know, so um, I'm just going to tell it again for those of you who haven't heard it. Um, this is the canyon into which I first found myself, and since I since uh, coming here, I have learned so much. I've been asked, I've asked myself so many questions. I'm not quite ready to board my ship yet. I'm not sure that I want to board my ship. Do I really want to use the resources that have been entrusted to me by me killing? these various living things and or interacting with these various living things or you know do I ultimately want to try to lead a minimally impactful life but anyway this is the joke the only joke that I know a moth walks into a podiatrist's office by the way I heard this joke from Norm Macdonald but he stole it from a taxi driver so you, nobody knows where this joke got started maybe it was that taxi driver maybe it was someone else a moth walks into a podiatrist's office and the podiatrist says, well, uh, how can I help you, moth? And the moth says, uh, or, uh, I'm sorry, I've already, I've already t t failed at telling the joke, and we've just begun. A moth walks into a podiatrist's office, <laughs> and uh, the podiatrist says, well, what seems to be the problem, moth? And the moth says, oh, doc, if only there were just one problem. I've got lots of problems. My son, Gregor Ilyich, he doesn't love me anymore, and when he looks in the mirror, he sees the same coward that he sees when he looks at me. My wife, Ilyana Ilyich, and I haven't just fallen out of love. We've been out of love for so long that I can't remember what it was like to love her, if indeed I ever did. My daughter, Katerina Ilyich, she's marrying a man who disgusts me. And much of what disgusts me about him is what disgusts me about myself. And the podiatrist says, Well, those are all very serious problems, Moth, but it sounds like you need to see a psychiatrist. You know, I, I, I'm a podiatrist. I work on feet. What brings you here? And uh, I've just discovered a desert, by the way. The, the Moth says to the podiatrist, What brings me here? Well, the light was on. You know, because moths just go toward the light. I did a terrible job of telling this joke um, because I got so excited about this uh, desert that I that was previously undiscovered, but it's now mine. This is a save point. I have now saved my game. Um, but uh, the point of the joke is that we laugh at moths because they just go where the light is on, right? Like this is a funny thing about moths to us. But let me submit that maybe all of us just go where the light is on. There's a sentinel. I'm not going to let him see me catching anything. Uh, maybe we all just go where the light is on. Maybe we, you know, maybe we seek to interact with the universe entirely uh, because we ourselves think 
you know, I, 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 I guess I'm wondering, do we, do we seek to do more, to explore more, to find worlds that we haven't found before? Because, hello, Sentinel, it's me. I am not a threat to you, buddy. I am a friend. Hi. Hi. You want to just say hello? Are you not a Sentinel? What are you? Oh, you're a, you're a trade terminal. What? Meredith, I'm in a I'm in a future. Sell items from your inventory. All right, I'll sell items from my inventory. I'll try. Um, what do I have? What do I have that you might be interested in? Oh, do you like gold? Yeah, I'll sell you some gold. Boy, if I'd known that gold was worth that much, I would have. Uh, Twenty-two thousand. Can I just sell one of these? All right, well, now I've got some cash, so that's exciting. Not going to sell anything else because it doesn't have any value, for one thing. Um, I don't really need to buy anything from the Galactic Trade Network right now because I feel like everything that I have... I mean, I feel like I have everything I want, you know? I feel like I'm, I'm living my best life right now. Well, it's morning in, in this beautiful land that I call home. But to go back to the question, maybe we're all just moths going where the light is on, doing what we think is interesting or noble or important, but ultimately it's not about that. It's just about going where the light is on, doing all the things that we were going to do anyway. You know, maybe we're, we're just, uh, to quote the great Robert Penn Warren, bubbles on the tide of empire. Uh, it's easy to feel like you're special or like there's a reason that you're doing the things you're doing but maybe deep down there really isn't maybe you're just going to the center of the galaxy because you've been told that the goal is to go to the center of the galaxy because that is the like that's the wisdom that you've inherited and that you see as uh, somehow true even though in my opinion maybe it isn't you know maybe ultimately we should be I don't know trying to lead the, the least the least impactful lives instead of the most impactful lives. Maybe the best thing that we can do is to, you know, stay and live quietly on this planet. This planet, by the way, is beautiful. You know? It's not bad. Maybe this is enough. But maybe it isn't. You know, then I look down and I just... It's just kind of horrible down here. Like, it just... It, it, it looks like, like Mars. We all know I'm not really a fan of Mars. So then I think, well, maybe I should go toward the center of the galaxy. Maybe I should explore and see what's out there. But if, to explore and see what, what's out there is to exploit resources that I call mine, even though really they aren't mine, you know? The resources in this, uh, oh, I've accomplished a journey milestone. Maybe it's having an existential crisis on your home planet. Is it? Oh, no, it's traveling 7,500 units. Um, I'm just getting started, though. I can walk all day. So I, I feel, uh, in short, deeply, deeply conflicted about the prospect of leaving my home, but also, oh, I used my jetpack. Oh, didn't use it very well. I'm still, still getting my jetpack down. I've heard that you can, there's a way that you can sort of bounce from thing to thing. Um, I don't know. I do want to get my starship working just because I want to explore this planet. But then I think, you know, ultimately all I'm doing in this process is using resources so that I can have these selfishly fun experiences, you know? Why am I even collecting gold? It's not worth anything. Uh, yeah. So, I don't know. I feel, uh... Oh! Look at this little guy! You know, Meredith, just when I start to think that, like, life is full of meaninglessness, there, this little guy comes along! He's tall. Oh, so there's a little. There's a pack of them. What's going on up here? Wow, life is amazing. You know, this is that was awesome. Now I'm excited. All right, I'm gonna get it. I'm, I'll tell you what. I don't know if there's a point to life, but I know that there is an incredible pleasure in meeting these guys. I don't want to kill you. Good lord, you're adorable. Hello. Hey, it's me, Franklin. Do you want to play? It's me. Hey, no, it's me. It's Franklin. Yeah. 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 Hi. Where are you taking me? 
I was, I was headed toward a big gold mine, but then I saw you and just got destroyed. Wow. Maybe this is it. Maybe the point is to find beauty where you can find it. But still, am I allowed to just exploit resources willy-nilly for my own selfish interests? What about this little guy? He has needs. Oh, I'm going to go back to this gold mine and shoot the heck out of it, though. Because it turns out gold's pretty valuable. And then I'm going to go to my starship. And, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna at least explore this world. But I'm very interested to hear your feedback. What should I do? Should I seek the center of the universe? And if so, why? Are you sure? I know one thing, though. I like gold. It's pretty, and apparently by- Oh, my inventory's full! Crud! Alright, gotta go to the exosuit. And then... No, exosuit, please. I'm not very good at this. Mm, that wasn't right. Can I go to my exosuit? There we go. Alright, I'd like to transfer all this plutonium. There we go, now I've got an empty thing. And then I also I need to go ahead and charge my uh, life support systems, which is annoying, but... You know, such is reality. That's another reason, kind of, maybe to leave this... Uh, to leave this place is my concern about uh, needing this constant uh, hazard protection because there's something weapon charge depleted. Oh, really? Ugh. All right. Uh, there's something kind of alarming to me about not being able to survive without constantly uh, charging everything. You know, maybe there's a planet out there where I can just live as me and I don't even need an exoskeleton. It just, that seems like it would be nice. Um, but again, I'm just claiming this, uh, I'm claiming all these resources as my own when it is not at all clear to me that they really belong to me. That said, uh, gold is pretty and I intend to sell it to aliens down the road. All right, I'll see you next time when I will attempt to take off uh, in my spaceship for the first time and explore this great and broken and extremely hot planet. Best wishes.